Hey everyone, it's Even Bigger Jono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Fire Red. Okay. Um. So yeah, like I said at the end of the last episode of Pokemon Fire Red, we're going to be doing the after game of Pokemon Fire Red in the near future. But um, yeah, obviously it wasn't in the near future because I've already done uh, Pokemon Platinum and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, but now that we've finished the Pokemon Platinum after game. Uh, I guess it's time to move back to Pokemon Fire Red and complete this because realistically It's been nearly three years since I've actually done this um Because my first LP was Pokemon Fire Red and I never got around to doing that thing about that for some reason So I redid Pokemon Fire Red again Just so we could sort of catch up because it'd be really weird if I just randomly uploaded the uh after game of Pokemon Fire Red. But anyway, now that we're back in Pallet Time, Professor Oak's gonna be talking to us. Ah, oh, Jono, you're back, are you? How much have you filled your Pokedex? May I see it? Let's see. You've caught 18. He's going to tell us that uh, we should put more effort into it and that we should fill it up some more. What we're going to have to do is have different, uh, 60 different kinds of Pokemon in our Pokedex. The easiest way is to do that is either catching Pokemon that I deemed is useless before, evolving Pokemon that you already have, or using stones on Pokemon that you might already have, like, evol uh, like evolution stones or that sort of stuff. Uh, so you have to have 60 different kinds inside your Pokedex uh, to be able to obtain the natural decks and move any further in this game, which I'm going to have to do off screen because there's no way I'm going to be showing me catching, what, 42 Pokemon. It's going to be ridiculous. Uh, but before we do any of that, though, I wanted to come back up here to Route 24, forward slash Cerulean Cape, whatever, uh, as it's called in friggin' Pokemon Hard Gold Soul Silver. Um... And we'll surf down here because there is a place down here called Cerulean Cave, which is where one of the most strongest Pokemon of all time is. Or what's deemed to be one of the most strongest Pokemon of all time. This is Cerulean Cave. Horribly strong- Oh, horribly strong Pokemon live inside there! Oh, crap. Takes a very special trainer to be allowed inside there. You have to be strong enough to become the Pokemon League Champion to starters, which we've already completed. And you would have to make a great achievement. That great achievement is obviously completing the Pokédex. Well, not completing the Pokédex, but getting the National Dex. That's one of the greatest achievements, so... What? You're a trainer? You gotta be kidding me. Oh god, whatever. Three Pokémon, okay. What? Really? Okay, that's... That's one of the things that I didn't miss about Kanto, the amount of Paris. That's what I liked about Sinnoh, man. You missed... Really? But yeah, that's what I liked about Platinum, man. There was barely- You missed again?! <sighs> now I'm poisoned! How did you miss twice?! Can I finish my sentence now? That's what I liked about Sinnoh! Where was I? Yeah, that's what I liked about Sinnoh! We- Oh my god, you hit! But yeah, there was barely any Paris. I don't think we actually encountered any Paris. So yeah... Uh, uh, screw this, I'm just gonna go into... You know what? No, I'm gonna just overkill all of these now. I bet she has a whole team in Paris, doesn't she, bitch? Screw her! Alright, let's just go flame wheels. Just overkill this thing because it's a quad weakness to fire, which is ridiculous. That's what... Paris is bad, man. I mean... <laughs> makes an awesome HM slave, though, like I have on my team in this game, but... Yeah, it's, it's terrible. God. Has a quad weakness to fire and flying, which are two very, very common types. It's really quite sad how common this, this thing's weaknesses are. My god. Oh, yeah, it also has a weakness to rock, too. Like, come on. Jeez, another common type. Alright, so I'm going to fly back to Viridian City now, and off screen real quick, I'm just going to go and catch or evolve or whatever, another 42 Pokemon, so I will see you guys in just a moment. Okay, now, I have pretty much finished completing the National Dex, or getting 60 Pokemon, I guess. It took me a while to get there, but I eventually did it. Um... Just to prove it to you guys that I didn't cheat or anything like that, here are all the Pokemon inside the PC. Now, I went to places like the Safari Zone and all of that sort of stuff. So, this is all of them there. I evolved them using stones and, like, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to catch Pokemon at really high levels so that you don't have to train for too long to evolve them, you know. It just, it makes it easier that way, so... 
yeah, just go to places where, you, like, you might not have ever caught any Pokemon, or Pokemon, like I said, that were completely useless, or if you have any stones in your party, then yeah, go ahead and use them to evolve them, but that's really all I have to say about that. Now, what we're going to do next is head back to Pallet Town. And, uh, oh, of course. They're crying out loud. All right. Okay. Once you're back in Pallet Town, go and talk to Professor Oak. Good to see you. How's your Pokedex coming along? Here, let me take a look. The amount of Pokedex you've made on your Pokedex is 124 Pokemon seen and 60 owned. Hoo-hoo! This is turning into quite, quite the respectable Pokedex. Ah, now this is excellent. John, I have an important favor to ask you. I need you to listen to At least recently, there have been sightings of many rare Pokemon species. I'm talking about Pokemon that have never been seen in Kanto. I would love to go see these things myself, but I'm much too old. Yeah, you said that last time, Oak. Oh my god! I thought I killed you! Go away! Ah, uh, what's your favorite me over... Oh, yeah, screw you, kid. We're obviously a lot better than you are. <laughs> okay. So, now that we have 60 different Pokemon recorded on our Pokedex that we've owned, our Pokédex gets upgraded to the National Dex. Now, we can, that means we can go ahead and finish off the Fire Raid after game, which will probably be about... Ah, oh, I said two weeks of Platinum and it didn't even last two weeks, it lasted like ten days, but yeah, I'd say at least two weeks for this. Oh, oh I'd say, yeah, probably about the same length as Platinum, I reckon, probably about ten to twelve days. I wouldn't say exactly ten, uh, two weeks, sorry, but yeah, ten to twelve, ten to twelve episodes is gonna last for. Then we'll move on to a completely brand new LP after that. I swear it. Okay. What we have to do next is head over here to Vermilion City, and remember how there was a port here before? Well, we've got to use that again, and but this time we have to use it to get to the Sevi Island, which is where we have to head, which is basically where all of. Well, 99% of Fire Red's after game is based. Uh, except for the Cerulean K, which we'll probably do right at the very end of it. But yeah, so we have to head to one island, just like I did. So, yeah. Alright, so let's head inside the giant Pokemon Center. And remember that giant nerd, Celio? Well, let's talk to Celio. It's funny because he has a Pokemon name, and Pokemon Celio is a giant bat thing, so. Okay, I'm modifying the network machine right now. I'm changing it so it can handle trades over long distances. When I get finished, you'll be able to trade exotic Pokemon from trainers far away. That being bloody Ruby and Sapphire, or Emerald. Well, Ruby and Sapphire were the only games out at this stage when these came out, but yeah, you can trade them to Emerald as well. But yeah, we've got to look for two certain stones. I wonder what they are. But we will get into that in the next episode. Okay, so yes, next time in Pokemon Fire Red, we will head out after those two sacred stones. See you guys then.